Good morning to all, respected principal, sister Norma Mary, teachers, and my dear friends. Today, September 29th, is World Heart Day. We all know how important is this organ in our life that works 24 into 7 throughout our life. This day is observed for all of us to think about our heart and give best to it, for the beautiful life it is pumping within us. This year's theme of World Heart Day is Use Heart to Beat Heart Disease. In this day, we have with us an eminent cardiologist in town, Dr. Joseph Cardox. Dr. Joseph is the Chief Interventional Cardiologist in the Bishop Benzia Hospital in Kollam. I invite Dr. Joseph to share his message on this World Heart Day. Welcome, Doctor. Greetings to all of you on World Heart Day. At the outset, let me thank the principal of Vimla Kudaya IEC School for inviting me to be a part of this program. Every year, 29th September is celebrated as World Heart Day with the goal of increasing public awareness on heart disease and also to promote cardiac health and well-being. The theme of this year's World Heart Day is to use your heart to beat heart disease. Doctor, today we have few of our friends who aspire to take up the profession as a cardiologist. I invite them to have a word with Dr. Joseph. Doctor, what is a cardiovascular disease? Cardiovascular disease is the group of disorders which affect the heart and the blood vessels. These can be commonly categorized into two groups. One is the group of congenital heart diseases, that is, disorders which are present right from birth. And the second and more common category is the one of acquired heart diseases. Most commonly, ischemic heart disease, which encompasses uh, myocardial infarction, heart attack, etc. The other common cardiac diseases include congestive heart failure, rheumatic heart diseases, then various diseases of heart rhythm or arrhythmias, then we have hypertensive heart disease, peripheral vascular diseases, and so forth. Doctor, why heart disease is very common nowadays? As we are all aware, the incidence and prevalence of cardiovascular disease is increasing rampantly in the current generation. There are various factors which attribute to this heavy rise in cardiovascular disease in our times. And one of the most uh, striking factors is due to our present lifestyle. Obesity, overweight, diet very rich in carbohydrates, sedentary lifestyle, increasing use of junk food, especially in the youth. Then, of course, the increasing tendency among youth to indulge in bad habits like smoking, apart from various other factors such as the increased prevalence of diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, etc. And also the much higher amount of stress that individuals of our generation undergo right from a very young age. So all these factors put together uh, account for the higher incidence of cardiovascular disease, higher incidence of heart attack, etc. during this current generation. Doctor, how common is heart disease among women? It is a false belief that cardiovascular disease is less common in women. In fact, all over the world, cardiovascular disease remains the number one cause of mortality among women. The only difference in gender between males and females is that the first occurrence of a myocardial event or the first occurrence of a heart attack in women is usually seen on average about 10 years later than when it occurs in men. Doctor, how can individuals reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases? There are various measures that each individual can adopt right from a younger age to, it, to decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease. For example, you can always try to be physically fit and active. Try to adopt a healthy lifestyle right from a younger age. For example, it is very important to incorporate regular exercise into your lifestyle. Thereby, we will be able to decrease the incidence of obesity when we become adults 
and obesity per se is a harbinger for a multitude of cardiovascular diseases. At the same time, it is our individual responsibility to create awareness in schools, in colleges, etc. about the ill effects of nicotine, tobacco, smoking, etc. and also about all the other substances of abuse. Because habits which are developed during youth are often very difficult to shake off in later life. And also the other very important factor is that people who have diabetes, hypertension, thyroid disorders, etc. should be very prompt with their medications. They should follow whatever advice the doctor says and always stick to optimum medications so that these contributory factors to cardiovascular disease are well taken care of. During angioplasty, a stent is placed inside the artery. What is a stent? A coronary stent is a medical device which is used to treat narrowed or blocked coronary arteries. It is a small tube-shaped mesh-like device which is inserted across the block in your coronary artery during a procedure called angioplasty. It is a life-saving device and very very much life-saving especially when a patient has an acute myocardial infarction. Stents are of two types, basically bare metal stents and drug eluting stents. Most of the current generation stents are drug eluting stents. Doctor, what are the signs of an unhealthy heart? Common warning symptoms of an unhealthy heart include mainly breathlessness or shortness of breath or fatigue that is unaccustomed fatigue especially when you climb stairs or when you're doing some kind of physical activity that is often the first and foremost symptom that there's something wrong with your heart because as we know heart is the organ that pumps blood that delivers oxygen to each part of our human body. Other important warning signs of an unhealthy heart include the feeling of a pounding or a fast irregular heartbeat, then the presence of swelling of your feet, then often when you feel unaccustomed, unusual sweating or a feeling of doom or that you are unable to stand or the feeling of giddiness blackout, especially when all these symptoms happen, when you're doing some kind of a physical activity, then you should uh, keep in mind that these could be warning signs of a heart problem. My dear student friends, most of these symptoms obviously will not be seen in you, but uh, when your parents or grandparents or some middle-aged to elderly person around has such above mentioned symptoms then we should be bright enough to warn them or at least to seek some kind of medical intervention that that could be some kind of a cardiac problem happening. Doctor, what are the various steps to check heart problems? There are various investigative modalities in the field of cardiovascular medicine. But what investigation or what test we do pertains to what symptom or what problem we are expecting in the particular individual who comes to meet us. For example, if a child of 5 year or 10 year old child comes with dyspnea or breathing difficulty and if we are suspecting a cardiac problem, obviously we would do what we call a echocardiogram because in this case we are probably wanting to rule out a congenital heart problem. Whereas, if the patient is a 40 or 40 plus individual, especially with risk factors such as smoking or a family history of a previous heart attack, etc., then in this case, we are trying to rule out ischemic heart disease or coronary heart disease. In this case, the first and foremost investigation would be a ECG. ECG gives a lot of information about the rhythm of the heart whether the patient has a present or a prior heart attack, etc. And based on what you see in the ECG, then the next investigation would be an echocardiogram, which gives detailed information about valvular morphology, 
whether the valves have any leaks, whether the valve is, has got a stenosis or a block, etc. And also it gives a very good uh, information about the functional status of the heart. But dear students, more than all these investigations, most important is physical contact with the treating doctor, wherein the doctor checks your blood pressure, your pulse, he keeps the steth on your chest to, to assess the cardiac sounds, etc. Other investigations include what we call a TMT or a treadmill testing, which gives a lot of information about the functional capacity of the heart. For example, if we have a 50-year-old patient coming saying that he has chest pain on walking, but he is very comfortable at rest. Very likely, this patient would be having a normal ECG. But if the doctor has a strong suspicion of a cardiac event, or if the doctor feels that this patient could be having a block, then we do what we call treadmill testing, where the heart is put to a level of graded exercise. And while exercising, the ECG is taken dynamically. So if the patient has a positive TMT, then very likely that the patient could be having what we call coronary artery disease. So apart from these investigations, there are also blood tests which are important in the field of cardiology, which of course includes blood sugar, cholesterol assessment, lipid profile, then various cardiac enzymes which could be elevated in the event of a heart attack, etc. Doctor, last of all, what message would you share with our students who aspire to choose your profession? Dear student friends who are aspiring to become cardiologists in the future, I take this opportunity to tell you that cardiology, of course, is a wonderful profession. It definitely is a challenging profession and takes a long course of hard work and commitment to become a cardiologist. But at the same time, I must tell you that it is a very rewarding profession because most, of, most, because most often we come across patients who reach us in very dire straits. When they come to us, most of them are between life and death. And then when you treat them or when you do a procedure and then you see them up and about, it is definitely gives you it definitely gives you a lot of mental satisfaction like you all know the heart is a wonderful organ and it works tirelessly right from the time you are in the womb of your mother till the moment you breathe your last it works 24 7 without any rest and this world heart day it actually welcomes and encourages each of us to realize how important this organ called the heart is and in our own capacities wherever we are whether we are students whether we are teachers whether we are doctors or nurses wherever we are this world heart day calls upon each of us to encourage and promote and create awareness of cardiac well-being so the message of this World Heart Day is basically to use your heart to make the right choices to promote cardiac health and well-being. Thank you. Dear friends, it was really informative for us to hear about the wonderful heart which works 24 into 7 from the time we conceive till we breathe out our last. Dr. Joseph, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your friendly talk with us and giving us insight on the noble profession you are engaged. Special thanks to all my friends who have shared their queries with Dr. Joseph. Once again, thank you all. Take care of your heart.